Last year in Blacksburg, Tex Shiro and Stiff helped the Hokies to a 29-7 lead. But Virginia came roaring back. First, Kevin Coffey hauled in a touchdown pass. Then Byron Thweet took an interception 53 yards for a score. Two more TD passes completed Virginia's 22-point second-half comeback, the biggest in school history, a game that no one close to the rivalry will soon forget. Now it's time for the rematch. have made the two and a half hour bus ride from Blacksburg to Charlottesville. 76 degrees, expecting a record crowd here at Scott Stadium for the 81st meeting all time between Virginia and Virginia Tech. A picture perfect night for college football. One of the great rivalries in the country and it's underway from Charlottesville. And the kick by Kibble is in the end zone. Javon Mason, Dan Ellis, the quarterback, he's really come on. He's completed 77% of his passes the last two games. The wide receivers, Kevin Coffey is the big play guy, as his career average of 21 yards per reception would tell you. And the offensive line, the rock up front, is John St. Clair, a second team all ACC. First and 10 at the Virginia 20-yard line. Thomas Jones is the tailback. Anthony Southern is the fullback. And they send the tight end, Billy Baber, in motion. Coffee back near side. And first play of the game, as you would expect, the kick to Jones, and he's got running room. On the first play, he's got the first down and more. Now, everyone knows about Corey Moore, but we're hearing more about and from John Engelberger. Tech coaches used to refer to him as silent but violent. Well, he's speaking to the media this year. Linebackers, they say Michael Hawks is the most improved player on this defensive unit. And the leader of the secondary is Anthony Midget. And uh, FYI, he is 5'11". First and 10 from the 34-yard line. A start out of the shotgun with Dan Ellis. Four wide receivers. Ellis will throw. Short pass is complete to Kevin Coffey on the play. Out of the eye. Jones and Southern behind Ellis. And they give it on third down. How about 12%? This is a third and five now for Virginia. We'll see what the Tech defense does to them. Out of the shotgun. Snap is high. Ellis. Screen left is doubled by Jones. And out of bounds. Formation from the 25. And he gets it away. High spiraling kick is brought down by Ricky Hall. It's led by their freshman quarterback, Michael Vick. Remember, he played his first full college game only last week in the win over Clemson. Remember, he was hurt in their opener. The flankers in the ends, Andre Davis, he's the fastest player on the fastest Hokies team ever. And up front, the offensive line anchored by Keith Short. And he is a 6'3", by the way. So they've got a short on offense, a midget on defense. And we go from there on first and ten from the 26. And a handoff to Chiron Stiff, their feature back. And he is stopped. Looks like this. Lubomir Stemanich is their top pass rusher among the defensive linemen. The banged up bunch of defense. Clark will start in the middle. The Cavs are without Uberno Isabel. Their leading tackler is back home after the passing away of his mom. And the DBs have saw a couple of redshirt freshmen at the safety position led by Jerton Evans. Had a couple of picks in a win over BYU. Option. Vick will keep it. Pops over one defender and right into another. That was Shannon Taylor. Third and short. Third and long two from the 34. Stiff and Ferguson stand adjacent to Vick. And Vick will throw and completes the fullback. Ferguson, no, he didn't. Drop the football to punt it away. Arlen Harris is deep for Virginia. Harris will field it at the 24. I look to spin away from a couple of tacklers. Unable to do so. First and 10 from the 27-yard line. Second possession for Virginia. They send Ahmad Hawkins in motion. He's replacing Kevin Coffey for now. And it's Thomas Jones on the carry. Out of the shotgun. Jones and Southern. Next to Ellis, it's a pass. It's a run. Ellis will keep it himself. And he picks up about half of it. Iris, thank you. Keep us posted. They're all big wins for the Irish, right? On third and fourth from the 33, heavy pressure. 
and Ellis goes down. Side line with Donnie Scott. Gets it off, and what a punt it is, sending Ricky Hall all the way back to his 18-yard line. Let's see what the coverage will do. Avoids and one tackle, avoids another, and has a seam, and he is tripped up. That was a 17-yard return. So Tech will start first and 10 from the 38-yard line. We'll see what they can do with the momentum of that return. Well, not much on first down as the fullback, Jarrett Ferguson, brings up a second and eight now. Ball just shy of the 40-yard line. Out of the eye, Stiff and Ferguson. Off the play action. The left-handed passer is going up top here. He's got a man! Andre Davis, touchdown! 60 yards! Victor Davis, a perfect strike, and Tech draws first blood. From Shane Graham. Is up, and it is good. Michael Vick, it's his first scoring pass of his career. A beauty of a strike to the burner. Andre Davis, 7-0 Tech. Before the game, he pointed out, he says, we're going to try and make Michael Vick beat us. Well, certainly on that play, Vick won the first of the battles. Virginia gets the football to Von Mason. Looking to carry, found a seam, and he is out just past the 20-yard line. Yeah. Now, what a perfect scoring strike that was. First and 10 from the 21. The give is to Jones, the workhorse. Going to bring up a second and six. Jones so far, four carries for 15 yards. Out of the eye. Ellis on the draw to Jones. Shoots one man, breaks one tackle, and he is just about the 30-yard line. Great time for play action, Steve. Ellis will just get it to Jones. He didn't get it. Looks like he is short. This is Virginia's third punt already. And Scott gets it away. Ricky Hall signaled for the fair catch. Stiff and Ferguson behind Vic. And the give to Sharon Stiff. Really had a knee down on the original hit. That man, come on. Second and nine from the 33. What about draw? Draw. Here's Vic. Avoids one tackler and is brought down by another at the 40-yard line. He's looking to do some more to him on third and one now from the 41. It's in Andre Davis in motion, and they get along to Sharon Stiff. And he is forced out of bounds. Looks like they're going to spot it oh, short. Boy. The officiating crew is from the Big East, and we have yet to hear from them so far. And that is a good sign. Arlen Harris on the fair catch. Steve Levy, Todd Christensen, Holly Rowe from Scott Stadium. Sold out Scott Stadium in Charlotte. Heavy pressure. And again, Ellis is taken down that time by John Engelberger. And one of those three wideouts, Kevin Coffey, back in the game. That's great news for the team. And there was a decoy there as they gave it to Jones. And they're struggling offensively. Third and 16 from the 13-yard line. Out of the shotgun. Ellis rolling his right with pressure. Left one into the Virginia bench. His own goal line. And he gets it away. Hall will run up to take it across midfield. He takes it from Virginia territory and moves in deeper as he is dumped on it. So why shouldn't your better players be in there? And you see the field position. Big advantage. 10 yards for VTAC. Here's Vic. Thought about the option. Now he's hanging around. and looked to throw. Got a man. Inside the 10-yard line, it's Ricky Hall, and he has stopped at the seven. He's got to play the man, not watch the ball. Critical mistake for the secondary of the Cavaliers. First and 10 now from the seven. And he give it the stick. Not much there, and he is thrown back to the 10-yard line. As our first flag. Five yard, face mask, defense, the penalty is in force. From the end of the run, after this is in the goal. Makes it a first and goal from the three-yard line. Option, Vic will keep it. And did he get into the end zone? No signal yet. Looks like he was stopped short. That was with seven minutes in the first half that he was injured. He did not play again until last week against Clemson. This time, the give to Stiff. No question about that. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Well, it becomes a moot point, and now certainly the pressure is on the Virginia offense. With the penalty, of course, help. The extra point from Shane Graham is up and good. And it's 14-0 in favor of Virginia Tech.
They're the real thing on the defensive side of the ball. Texas met James Madison, Alabama, Birmingham, and Clemson. We'll go to Rutgers next week. Allen Harris has the kick. And he brings it out just shy of the 20 yard line. Some of the air out of this stadium, but he is back in there on the field looking to make a big play for Virginia. Off the play action, Ellis, and the ball was tipped a bit. And it is brought down by Demetrius Dodson. Big first down for the Cavaliers. On first down, we'll try play action again. Here's Ellis cross the net. Complete. It's Dodson again. And he's into them later on in the season. I'm really looking forward to that, Steve. It's true. It's just Thomas Jones around the end. And he had some distance. We'll see where he stepped out. To the outside to get the extra yardage. Jones, the ball carrier, starting to move the chains. Well, their last four plays, good for 52 yards. Second and five from the 28. Out of the eye. Off the play action to Jones. Quick hitter. And what a catch wow. by Amon Hawkins. He knows it. Gotta give the quarterback confidence to go at him again. First and 10 now from the 20. Virginia looks like a different team. One man to beat, he stopped at the 10. Sorensen. The quarter comes to an end. Virginia Tech leading 14-0, but all of a sudden, it's Virginia showing the offense against Moore and Tech. They've been able to put up some numbers way more than they had up to this point, so for whatever reason, Virginia Tech stops them here. You could credit that to the fact that the momentum stopper was the end of the quarter. The yards per snap leading all the first downs. Good run there. He stayed on his feet. Anthony Sutherland, the fullback. Two wide receivers out to the left. They send the man in motion to Ron Mason. And now line him up next to the tight end. Jones avoids one tackler. It is. And Coffey could be that wide receiver. He is in the football game. And they send him in motion. Ellis will get it to Jones. And he might have gotten a yard off. They tap the turning point in the game, coming with 13 minutes left in the first half. We might look back at this play. Here's Ellis throw. And eventually the whistle blew. Well, somebody moved. Now here's third and goal now on the nine-yard line. Two wide receivers, two backs behind Ellis. To throw. Scrambling away from pressure. The five going to the goal line, and he's short. Stopped at the one-yard line. Has him on the goal line. Fourth and one from the one. Quick count. Hold a quick count. High formation. Ellis. Play action. Great call. Wide open. Touchdown. It's Billy Baker, the tight end. And Virginia in the ball game. That was a gimme. A seven-point ball game. And Braveman does just that. 14-7. Let me tell you something. What a thrill it is for a tight end to get in the end zone. I speak from personal experience. 87 is feeling good right now. Guess what? We're back in this sucker. To Billy Baber, the tight end. David Green kicks it away for Virginia. And Stiff is... First and 10 from the 20-yard line now. Off play action. Vic Rowan to his left, the lefty passer throws, and it is complete. Browning win the tight end to get him to this point. He's looked terrific throwing the football. Ricky Bustle, the offensive coordinator. It's Vic keeping it himself this time. Got his first collegiate touchdown pass in this game. This time he'll let somebody else do the work, and it's Andre Kendrick, the second string running back. Dressed for every single game with no intention of playing, so he has that experience. We were warned this was not his first road trip. Russell gave Vic a written test last year prior to the second game, and Vic bombed it. And Russell got all over him, and since then he's been acing those tests. Carried to the left side. It's Kendrick again. That time stopped by Tim Spruill. Defense has been tough against third down conversions. Their offense not getting it done so far here tonight. 0 for 2. Here's their third try. They'll call it third and six. Vick will take off. Cuts inside. He's got the first down and more. And it looked like he was hit on the ankle again on that play. See the numbers for Vick. Versatile, obviously. They said he's Brett Favre tough. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good comparison right there. Stiff back in the football game. Back with the football. Second down and seven. 
four wide receivers in the game. From the 26, here's Vic feeling the pressure. Running out of the pocket and throws it complete to the 10 yard line, down to the five, and knocked out just shy of the goal line. The pass to Chiron Stith. Four of five, Todd, for 132 yards. Every decision so far has been the right one here tonight. That decision was to give it to Stith. Second and goal. Second and one from the one. Touchdown. It's Chiron Stith. So Virginia Tech answers back. They respond with a 10-play, 80-yard drive of their own. Shane Graham puts it through. And once again, the Tech lead is 14, following that efficient five-minute drive. Back to Charlottesville. Jimmy Kibble will put it in the air. Arlen Harris back from his goal line will bring it out. And with a pile of players on top of him. That is a huge, wow. huge upset. I mean, to win in the swamp is absolutely huge. Second and eight from the 24. Here's Ellis. All sorts of time for Ellis now as he looks to run away. Not nearly as effective as Vic. He up to this point is to stay away from him. Third down and seven. Well, they get it off. Play clock was at one. They did get it off. Ellis avoids Engelberger. Now rolling. He's got more on him. And look out. And there's more. Drops him. And hard down to the turf. Game for Tech. Virginia doesn't have any to their credit. And again, Tech so tough. Third down defense. Virginia 0 for 6 now on third down. Fair catch by Ricky Hall for the Virginia 22. That shortens the field for Tech. They're taking advantage of it. Starting from the 40 on first and 10. Give it to Chiron Stiff. And he powers for about six yards. You think more head coaches would be involved after seeing the success that Beamer and Tech have had. Here's Vic. Throwing deep. Got a man. And it is caught complete. Andre Davis had to go up and wait for the football, and he brought it down anyway. And he has stopped shy of the goal line. Don't give him the gift. First and goal from the four. Pitch left to Stiff. Looking for his third touchdown of the game, and he won't get it there. Got to do wonders for his confidence. It's half the distance to the goal. He's averaging 30 yards per completion tonight. They give it to Stiff, and there it is. Touchdown, and you hear it from the Tech crowd. Chiron Stiff. Not a whole lot of yards, but he's got three touchdowns already here in the first half. Defensive line is doing an outstanding job. Shane Graham boots it through. Chiron Stiff, the hat trick here in Charlottesville. Get your name to That's right. The kick to Arlen Harris goes out of bounds. Home for primetime football. Primetime college football tonight for Charlottesville on ESPN2. And Thomas Jones breaks a couple of tackles. Jones so far, 14 carries for 63 yards. Had 11 on that last play for the first down. And they'll try Jones on the right side this time. And he is at midfield. Was the worst collapse in Tech history and the greatest comeback in Cavalier history. We'll see what they do now. Ellis slips down. Under heavy pressure there. We see Coach McEvitt coming up at the break. See if they get the playoff. They see the play clock, and they do just get it off. Ellis, a soft pass. They say incomplete now from the 41. It is a high punt, bringing Hall all the way down to the five. And they can move it ahead from there at the 20. He's got a sideline and using it to his advantage. And he is forced out there at the 45. We uh, kind of sort of. I mean, my heart, my heart is definitely with uh, Virginia, but I, I wish the best for Mike. You know, so you know uh, he's doing well right now. I continue him, to him to do um, very well. That's been the story of this first half: the field position that Tech has had, and the ability to take advantage of it. It's like Vic changing the play at the line of scrimmage. It's a handoff to Kendrick. 
And he is stopped short of the 40-yard line, but 55 seconds and counting. The clock moves. Vic handles a low snap without a problem. Jump it's, in. The back foot. it's complete to Terrell Horn. And first and 10. Ball spotted at the 19-yard line. Vic running to his left. Skips through one tackler. And he is stopped inside the 10-yard line. And, and right now he's out of the game. Dave Meyer. Dave Mayer, rather. Who played in that Alabama Birmingham game. He's at quarterback here on a second and one. Handoff to Stiff. Breaks one tackle. And he can't break another. He is lassoed out of bounds. He is a junior. He got just his second career start against Alabama Birmingham. That ball, illegal substitution, defense. That's for game seventh in the nation. Now after watching this offensive line, I know why. First and goal. Fumble. Loose ball. Who's got it? Problems on the exchange. And that's an, that's an enormous break for the Cavaliers. If they go in here 35 to 7, huge break for Virginia. And, and that'll do it. That was the last play of the half. A break for Virginia. How big a break? We'll have to find out in the second half. Will Michael Vick return? The story still to be finished. We send you at halftime back to Reese Davis. David Green to kick it off for Virginia. And the second half, the 81st all-time meeting between Virginia and Virginia Tech. We continue on. Shiron Stiff, he's got three touchdowns, the running back. Here is a kick returner, and he brings it out to the 43-yard line. He's the man. Of course, he's the man. <laughs> I thought that was funny what Holly said, though. Gently sprained his ankle. How about the average start? 17-yard advantage right there for Tech over Virginia in the first half. Vic feels the pressure, was nearly dropped for a big loss. And we're counting him. Every single snap, Vic has taken. This time, they'll give it to Kendrick. And he has brought down shy of midfield. So you're playing a little bit safe. Tech, a rare punt. And Tavon Mason was deep and just let it bounce. It takes a bounce, but clearly the onus for the comeback for Virginia falls on the shoulders of number 17, Dan Ellis. They'll try Jones. And on the left side, he's stiff arm, and he... Virginia's offense really struggling in the first half. For a lot of the credit going to the Tech defense. Here's Ellis throwing. Picked behind his receiver, but Kevin Coffey, it could be more specific, but not really. I mean, things means a lot of different things out there on the football field. And now he saw a handoff to Jones by the right side. Vision is a very necessary prerequisite for a great run. On first and ten, Ellis will throw out with a flat to Southern. They'll avoid couple tackle and nearly stayed on his feet. Corey Bird nearly had a hand on him and couldn't bring him down. Tech's leading tackler coming in. Off play action. Ellis to throw. Feels the pressure. Now he is put down at the 50. Sacked by Michael Hawks. Second down, the call at 18. Out of the shotgun. Three wide receivers. Ellis, again, pressure right up the middle. And again, it's Hawks. Two consecutive sacks for the middle linebacker. Fifth sack by his defense. Ninth time tonight that Tech has thrown a Virginia player for a loss. Head ball. Encroachment, wow. defense, five yard penalty in the previous spot. You know, remains third down. Steve. He was the one flagged on the play. Third and 22 from the 45. Ellis, again, good time. On the move. Look the throw, and it is com incomplete, they say. Doing such a great job on the return. And nearly got blocked that time. Very close. Donnie Scott was to having that punt block. Instead, it's a great punt that is down at the one-yard line. Wayne Ward is the one that lays out. They've had great field position all game. Well, not here, they don't. They'll start from their own two-yard line. And they'll start running it. Chiron Stiff there. Nine minutes to play here in quarter number three. On a second and five from the seven-yard line. Vic the handoff to Chiron Stiff. 
try on the right side. They're going to have to go man for man on the outside and take their chances. Tech out of the eye. It's Stiff and Ferguson. And they give it to Stiff. He's got a hole. He's at the 30. Splits up the middle. And he is finally brought down at the 50-yard line. That's just great blocking at the point of attack and downfield for the Hokies. The featured running back coming into this game was Jones, but Stiff has taken it over with three touchdowns. Stiff doing it here today. That's one coach that was happy Stiff didn't have a car that day. Pass out of the flat to Cullen Hawkins. Tech looking to move down the field and eat up some clock in the process. Vic will give it off to Kendrick. And he is brought down. Maybe a pickup of one. Chiro Stiff is back into the game, getting a breather after that big game. That brought him to the 50. Off the play action. Quick hit to Terrell Parham. Enjoying their effort. Third and ten. Vic the handoff. The quick hit to the fullback. Ferguson not much there. A 48-yard field goal attempt. You see Shane Graham so far from this range. He's one for two on the season. Snap of the place are good. And the kick is also good. Graham knew it immediately. Breaks the seal on the scoring here in the third quarter as Virginia Tech has expanded their lead over Virginia. 31-7 in favor of the Hokies. How far can they go? Very impressive on the road here tonight. Up 31-7. to Tavon Mason returning the punt. The kickoff, rather. ESPN.com, part of the Go Network. Go.com. Thomas Jones, the carry there. He is somebody that disrupts things, even if he isn't making tackles or showing up in the stat sheet. Which is really the case tonight. That's right. And a second and 12 from the 20. Here's Jones trying the right side. And he is stopped. Picked from the start, the field position, whether it's a 34, the 22. It changes the play calling. changes the entire complexion of the game. Completion to Ahmad Hawkins. Just to see if they can get the ball up the field and throw. Two wide receivers out to the right is Dan Ellis. On first and ten. They send the man in motion. Hawkins and dead ball, ball start, offense. Five yard penalty remains first down. Been tough going for him tonight. He's made some good throws. But again, he has been beleaguered over and over again. Nine of 13 to the completion percentage there. As he hands it off to Jones, trying on the left side and again. Here's Ellis. All sorts of time again. Running for his life. Lofts one in the air. And right into the Virginia Tech bench. It's Texas saying it. Florida has already lost. And if for whatever reason Texas Tech would have pulled that off, how much farther would Virginia Tech jump in the polls? Well, look at Tech's schedule, too. This is going to be their toughest road game of the season. On the third down, they're well short of the first down. Quarter number three. It's high, and it is really short, and bounces out of bounds at the final minute of quarter number three. First and ten from the 34-yard line. Vic throwing, tip ball, and it's knocked down. Chicago Maroon, that's nice. Yeah, I you know what it is. Soon we get into academical villages very <laughs> shortly. <laughs> Second and ten from the 34 of running the table. <laughs> Give to the left, Kendrick. Off the option, and Vic really took a pounding on that play. All time for Virginia Tech, for what it meant. Try to get a quick punt off here on fourth and one. They're going to all sorts of substitution problems. That's a great job. Substitution, defense, five-yard penalty. Well, that, that could have been just as easily too many men on the field. Fresh set of downs. First and ten from the three loop after penalty. Not much there as the Virginia defense. And in this kind of rivalry game, I don't care what the score is, I don't think players are going to sit down on either side. And do you think the Virginia players will continue to go after Vic for as long as he's in the football game? Give off the right side to Kendrick. That will do it. We'll come back with the fourth quarter. If Virginia wants to try one of those comebacks, like the one from last season, they don't want to start getting going.
anytime soon. This game owned by Vic and the Hokies. 31-7 in favor of Mighty Tech. And they've got the football and looking for more. And a third and four from the 46. Looks like Vic's ankle again as he went down. And the Virginia defense is fired up. Taking him out of the game. Why take chances? I don't think so. Mason is deep for Virginia. They'll let it go. It will bounce into the end zone for the touchback. Ellis out of the shotgun. We would expect to see him run him just about every single snap this quarter. Off the play action. It's a quick pass to the left side for Ahmad Hawkins. Second and 11 now. Lost the one on the play. Here's Ellis. Great drop and the throw. High, but it is caught. And what a catch by Demetrius Dotson. And Dotson, three catches, 60 yards. He's a few more of those plays. Here's Jones now. Finds a seam up the middle. And he's got another first down. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Dang it. I'm a beaver guy. Jones will try it again. Why not? Successful on the last play. Okay. Lot, uh, <laughs> lots of surprises in all the football really, with the NFL and some of the college games as well. Here's Jones. On the left side, he is forced out of bounds. Holding offense. Ten yards. Ten yards. run. Repeat. Ten second down. And the only thing we heard was that he is somewhat impatient. Not off the football field, but on the field. Well, we haven't seen much of that here. Trying to force a hole from time to time. Throw from Ellis knocked out of bounds. Said about their superstar on defense more. Some of the intangibles you can play this game and play it well. You see those Mike Singletary eyes he's got working? That pass is complete. Demetrius Dotson on the reception. Six feet tall. Now he's 225 pounds. He's going against 300 pounders every single week. Every single week he's battling fun. Illegal substitution. Defense. Five yards from the previous spot remains first down. It's not bad. I mean, here. If you're shooting for I was fast in the pads. I could run routes up there. First and five. Pretty good set of hands, too, if I recall. Jones on the carry to the left side. Moore had a big game last week. Had a 32-yard fumble return for a touchdown against Clemson. He even forced the fumble himself. That pass knocked down. Incomplete. Third and five from the 27-yard line. Here's Ellis. Didn't feel the pressure that time, and he is brought down. Sacked by Engelberger on the play. The highlight of the home season here tonight. And it hasn't been a highlight film so far. 31-7. This is fourth down and 11 from the 33. Ellis with time to throw. And he overthrew a man who was in double coverage. Getting a bit nippy here in Charlottesville. We started at 76 degrees, and we've dropped into the low 50s here. So we'll bother Michael Vick and Virginia Tech all that much. Chiron Stiff. This kid just doesn't want to go out. All right, Holly, thank you. I can appreciate that, yeah. right, Tom? Actually, I can. <laughs> Third and six from the 37. They just get the playoff. Here's Vicky. He slips down again. You have to wonder about the ankle. And now he is knocked down before he got out of bounds. It's deep for Virginia. Jimmy Kibble will get it away. Fair catch is simply for it. Couldn't come up with it. Some contact there. Halo. Halo rule again. Yet again, right? Five yard. Fair catch interference. If it's a kicking team, five yards, he's spotted a foul, first down. Here at Scott Stadium, where a record crowd is expected, better than 50,000. Many will be disappointed thanks to plays like that. Arlen Harris, second and 10 from the 33. Ellis is still in the game, though Thomas Jones has left. Some starters, some backups. That ball looked like it was, Buffalo would have slipped in nicely here in the schedule for them. Ellis. The throw, it's complete. Well shy of the first down. Even with this defeat tonight, I still think they've got a shot at it. First and 10 from the 44 now. Ellis rolling to his right, threw across his body. They call it a catch? Yes, they do. Under six to go now. 
Brings up a second and two from the 47. They'll give it to Harris. Try to split through a couple of defenders. And says, don't let up, keep it up. He has definitely been wanting redemption here tonight. The throw is complete to Mason out of the flat. Come Make sure on. we get it in on Saturday. Come on, it was Thursday. And I've been holding it all week. <laughs> Under five to go on a second and eight from the 42 now. Under pressure, ball is knocked away. 4.42 to go. We we're just talking amongst ourselves about Corey Moore and his performance here tonight. Staying out on the field, the throw for Ellis, and the receiver ducks in whether McMullen went up to get it. it. Is deep to receive the punt from Donnie Scott. Fair catch. No halo problems there. It is Michael Vick, the quarterback. Surprise, surprise. With 425 here in the fourth quarter. That's efficient running. They carried a stiff. Not much there. Tech went on to win 28 to 10, and that is, again, arguably the biggest victory in Virginia Tech history, we say, so far, the way this season. Second and five from the 30. Vic will take his time with the clock running, and why not? Get the play clock down to two. Get the snap off. And they will run with Chiron Stiff. All that stuff. In state. Five Buck 40 to play here in the fourth. 31 7. There will be no heroic comeback. Duel, only getting seven points here tonight against the top rated defense in the nation. They'll give it to Chiron Stiff. And he'll go over 100 yards for the football game. You know, from the start of the season, it's tricky to get the wheels going. Final half minute. First down. And if anybody thought that a team from Blacksburg couldn't compete for the national championship, they are very much mistaken. This is a team to be reckoned with. The top defense in the nation. Arguably the top player in Corey Moore. Michael Vick, a tremendous quarterback. They've got a big future. And you had won two in a row in this rivalry, but matchup number 81 belongs to Virginia Tech, and they'll take home the Commonwealth Cup. 31-7.